what's up guys hope everybody's having a good day and today I have for you a life hack that can help you improve the quality of your analog sticks long after the rubber on them has worn off let's get started so there are a lot of things that you could do in terms of restoring the life of your analog sticks buying new ones off of eBay then replacing them by opening up your remote or buying control freaks or whatever it is that you could buy to put on top of these what a lot of these methods that you come across don't seem very cost effective or user friendly because then you might have to open up your remote and risk damaging the internal hardware on your remote but just the other day I discovered a way you can restore the life of your analog sticks and the solution to doing this and saving so much money and time and effort is probably sitting around in a drawer or around your house collecting dust now if you don't have what the solution is you could always go to like a thrift store and buy it and it's just as good so let's show you what the solution is the solution to all your problems is this bad boy the rubber on the analog sticks of the playstation 2 are really good build quality and you could just reuse them on the ps4 remote now as you can see i've already done this process with the left analog stick and i'm going to show you what to do with the right analog stick all you'll really need is the playstation 2 remote and a kitchen knife with a pointy enough edge to remove this now i can't stress enough i messed up on this one there's a piece of rubber still attached to the bottom of it this is the lip that you need the lip that's over here you see it like that lip don't rip that off in the process of taking off the analog stick now if you rip it off it's not that bad of an issue you might just have to glue the rubber bit onto your remote and that's what I had to do but for this all you will need to do is take the pointy end of your knife and just go around slowly under the analog stick as like that and then it'll remove like it'll rip off after you removed enough of the bottom lip just pull it off and it should come off like nothing there are these little clips where the rubber originally attached to but those rip off and those are not that bad of a problem now that you have this you're gonna peel back the lip so you have just the rubber and it looks something like this like one of those things you like pop and it goes up it's gonna look like this it's gonna be a bowl now I forgot to mention if you have leftover rubber from an from the analog stick that was originally on the PS4 remote you're gonna wanna remove it I do not recommend doing this on a brand new PS4 remote as I feel like it's just nicer to have the rubber that originally came with the remote but if you are like what the heck why not I want to improve the quality of my analog sticks just rip it off the new one but it's usually meant for one that's already fading so after you remove the rubber the leftover rubber that was on the analog stick you're gonna take the bowl rubber from the PS2 remote and you're gonna put it right on top of the PS4 remotes analog stick and you're just gonna give it a little push and it should go back down and the lip should do the rest of the work and it would look something like this the reason this one looks a bit cleaner is because I don't have the lip because I had to glue the top bit of this but it should look like this and it doesn't interfere with the usage of the analog stick whatsoever and the lip only means that it is re removable this one I can't remove it unfortunately but this one I can I can remove it say you want to put a control freak or something on it and you don't need this anymore you could just remove the analog stick rubber piece and you're good to go or this starts fading you could just remove it and replace it with another one voila so as you can see this is a cost effective way to save your remote rather than shell out another 60 bucks for another remote in turn to just get new analog sticks and yeah it's also a cost effective way to not have to spend money on third party accessories that may cost 20 to 30 bucks to fix your analog sticks. I know one big problem with PS4 remotes is that their analog sticks just rub off way too easily. I've only had my remote for a year and I lost both of them. So this is a really simple way to give your analog sticks 
like the rubber back that it originally had and in my opinion the ps4 remote rubber is like made of a much better quality and it has like um like not it's not sticky but the rubber itself is more grippy and it feels like like it just feels a lot nicer like while i'm playing my games so yeah that's basically it if you guys found this video useful please drop a like down below and subscribe for more life hacks as i will be posting them occasionally and yeah have a nice day happy gaming